Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I literally just woke up about an hour or so ago, so if you're wondering why I look like America's Next Top Model, now you know why. This is literally the hair that I slept with and I just threw a headband on just to pull my hair back in case I'm gonna be trying out any of these products today. So cute, I know. Okay, so I'm gonna be doing an unboxing of the November 2020 BoxyCharm as always i have no clue what's in here i've not seen any spoilers i really haven't even seen anyone talking about the november box on any social media so it's gonna be a surprise as usual i already uh, cut the little sticker here so we're just gonna open it up oh before i get started i do want to mention that i did receive this complimentary from boxycharm um, for a review and stuff so let's see what's inside well first thing we have here is the little card that says to mention I got it complimentary. <laughs> yep. I have no clue what all that is, but it looks colorful. Let's pull out the little card first, the insert card and see. First thing we have here is a Natasha Denona coupon. So I'm assuming there's something from Natasha Denona in here, which is exciting because I always hear about her products, but I've never used any. Hopefully there's something in here from her. I don't know. Anyway, 25% off coupon, that's cool. Um, so this boxy charm is called boxy charm harvest. That is the theme. Let's see what we got. Okay, so the first thing I see here is a face wash. It's peach and lily, power calm, hydrating gel cleanser, deep cleanse and soothe, cruelty free, toxin free, gluten free, and vegan. That's nice. This retails for twenty eight dollars. And remember that the base box is $25 so this is more than the box already so that's cool but anyway yeah so this is a face wash I actually could be trying that out today because I have nothing on my face next up is a two-in-one radiance polishing mask with eight super orange essence and it's pumpkin turmeric this retails for $45. It's got pumpkin, turmeric, grapefruit, papaya, ginger, carrot, honey, and orange. Hmm. Probably really good for your skin. This would be fun to try out. And this is a mask. This is what it looks like. Superfoods, Asian botanicals, real results, multitasking, high performance ingredients. So this is actually a exfoliating mask. It's a lightweight and exfoliating formula to resurface the skin in five to 10 minutes. Alrighty. Next up, we got the Alamar Primer Longwear Sticky Sticky Pigment Base. What on earth is that? So this retails for $15. Let's see what this says. It's a water-based primer designed to glue eyeshadow in place and to maximize color and pearl dimension. It's water and wear resistant. Okay, that's cool. It also works as a glitter glue. Oh, that's nice. I don't own something like that, so. I'd like to try that out. Let's see what it looks like. Probably shouldn't have put that on my hand, but okay. Anyway, just a skin tone looking eye primer. Next up we've got Milk Makeup and this is the Kush Mascara. Kush Waterproof Mascara. And this retails for $24. Okay, so let's check out this mascara. Ooh, look at this packaging. Hmm. I don't really like that, but okay, I'll get past it. So it's the Kush Waterproof Mascara. And so what the brush looks like. It's a very heavy duty uh, thing. Seriously, I can knock somebody out with this. I'll be testing this out, I guess. I'm not, I don't really have a reason to put on waterproof mascara today, but I'll try it out, I guess. We'll see. Okay, so last item here. I'm gonna have to look into this. Why is this just in a cardboard box with no design? So this is a Natasha Denona palette. It retails for $48. I'm very curious about this box. Like it has a little information back here about the palette, but the front has like a barcode on it. 
<laughs> Am I the only one that got that? <laughs> anyway, so these colors are nice. Look at them. Gorgeous fall colors. There is four matte and one shimmer here at the end. These look absolutely beautiful. And I can't wait to try this because I've been wanting to try Natasha Denona stuff. So yeah, that was the last item in the box. The most expensive item in the box. So you're paying 25 for the box alone. And this was 48, this was 45. It's a no brainer. This is a pretty good box. I know I'm not acting that enthusiastic as I normally am because to be honest, I am tired. This time change is killing me. But anyway, if you wanna know what box I got, let me tell you, I got box number 33. A lot of you also always ask me for the weight of the box, but to be honest, they haven't been putting the weight on the boxes. Not the ones that I receive anyway, so I can't help you there, but I did get number 33 if you're interested in knowing. Ooh, yeah, so this was the harvest box, and I'm gonna try out some of these items right now. I'm really interested in this face wash. I don't think I wanna use this exfoliator today because, um, I already exfoliated my face yesterday and my face was like being really sensitive and kind of burning so I'm not gonna do this. I guess I will like take a sniff though. I mean, why not? Let's see if it smells like anything good. But yeah, I probably shouldn't use this. So it's like an orange gel, you know, to go along with the pumpkin, turmeric. It smells really nice and um, citrusy, but I'm not gonna try that out today. So maybe I'll try it out in the future. I'm sure it works fabulous, but I am gonna try out the face wash. I really wish I would have got like um, a blush or a bronzer or a lip product in this box, but it's all good. Anyway, so let's try out this face wash. Face wash, can't talk today. So it's supposed to Cleanse down to the pore without stripping skin dry can be the difference between problem riddled versus healthy vibrant skin, yada yada yada. Okay, your skin's gonna feel clean, cleansed, refreshed, and hydrated. Let's try this out. I'm curious about the smell, so. Oi, that was probably too much, but it's all good. That's what it looks like. It's just a clear face wash. I'm gonna go ahead and plop it on this dry skin and then I'm gonna run to the bathroom and wash my face. It smells fresh and clean. Feels good so far, but we'll see. Oh, look at that. It's foaming up without any water. Mm. So I just rinsed that off. My skin feels fresh and clean and amazing. And I'm gonna move on to uh, doing some makeup now. So I'm going to probably fast forward a lot of this. So you're just gonna be hearing some jams and watching me put my face on. But I'm gonna start off with some skincare first. For my entire face, I'm gonna be using my cashmere uh, toning oil. And for under my eyes, I'm gonna be actually using both of these products. I got both of these products complimentary from Octoly. It's the Fresh brand. They're both eye products. One is a serum. It's a black tea firming eye serum. It strengthens and illuminates. And then this is a age delay eye concentrate that firms and illuminates. One is a cream in a jar. One is a serum in a bottle. And I'm gonna use both because I need I need it all, all at once, okay? I've been using both these products for about a week now. I really like them because they don't irritate my, um, like the skin around my eye. They don't irritate my eyes or make them water, which a lot of eye products can do that to me. Um, and they're super moisturizing. They feel good if they work, praise the Lord, you know. Anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of the serum first. Just putting a tiny little squeeze, gonna dab it around, and then I'm gonna go in with the cream right after. And then I'm gonna go in with the toning oil. So yeah, I just applied the serum first and then the cream. Like I said, I've been using these for about a week. 
I did receive them complimentary for a review. Um, I hope with long-term use that they do make a difference because, girl, you know I'm getting up there in age. <laughs> anyway, but um, so far, I really like them. so I'm gonna go ahead and apply some of this color corrector this is from L'Oreal it's the infallible um, total cover and I do got some boo-boos going on on my face today okay I don't know why my face been acting up lately maybe it's the weather change or I don't know but I'm so over it so I'm applying some of the green <laughs> hey girl <laughs> I'm putting some of the green on the red spots because green cancels out red. I mean, this doesn't cover it like completely, but it does help it a little bit. I'm gonna take some of the purple and just place it in random places on my face because I'm crazy like that, but purple kind of like brightens areas or whatever. And then I'm gonna go in with some of the salmon color, plop it under my eye, and a little bit of the flesh tone there. Just gonna plop that all around because why not and I'm just gonna blend it all out and then I'm probably gonna put a hundred layers of concealer right after so I'm gonna go in with some of my Tarte Shape Tape I'm also gonna be going in with the elf hydrating camo concealer and I'm also gonna be using the Maybelline instant age rewind because that's just what I feel like doing but I am going to be putting these in different spots on my face. So the Instant Age Rewind just went in larger places. I'm going to be doing the Tarte Shape Tape over those little pimples. And a little under here. And then I'm also going to mix in some of the e.l.f. right on top of um, the Shape Tape. And here. Now, because I look like Casper, um, I'm gonna go ahead and add some contour color really quick. I'm gonna use one of my Artiste brushes. And this is just from e.l.f. I'm gonna mix all the colors. Boop, boop. <sighs> you girl just overdid it with the concealer and stuff, so. I gotta fix this now. Why does my stomach keep growling? <laughs> mm, I look good now. I know y'all jealous. All right, I'm just gonna blend that out really quick. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, so I finished blending out that contour color and then I added just a little bit of cream blush. Probably gonna add some powder, bronzer, and powder blush. And I also did my eyebrows off camera just because I feel like Doing my eyebrows on camera is so time consuming and I think it's annoying. And yeah, so I did them off camera. Anyway, so I'm gonna test out this eye primer. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, eye primers are cool. And they're really good for those who like them and need them. I don't really use them. I don't feel like I need to. But I'm gonna test this out because it came in the boxy charm, so yeah. I'm just gonna pat it all over my eyelid and then we're gonna try out these eyeshadows from Natasha Denona. Still super curious about this cardboard box, but I'm just gonna be quiet. I didn't even pay attention to this earlier. This is a really cute packaging. It's like a blush, a nudie blush. Okay, so the first color I'm gonna start off with is this one right here because I'm just gonna lay that down as my little base. This eyeshadow primer better not mess with me today because I ain't in the mood. So I'm just putting that all over my lid, literally just everywhere. I think I'm actually, I'm gonna start with this color just because I wanna see what it looks like. If I don't like it, I'll just go over top of it with something else. Okay, that's pretty. It's actually darker than I thought it was gonna be. So I'm going to blend that out a little bit, but it's cute y'all. 
not the look I was going for today, so I'm probably going to pick up this brown shade here. Definitely not going to kick into that one because it looks super orange. I mean, I like that color, but I ain't going for it today. So I'm just going to pop this one in my crease. Girl, look at me. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm just going to blend this out. I ain't doing nothing fancy today, okay? I'm just testing out this formula here and these shades, okay? Alright, honestly, I feel like this would have blended out better without the primer. And that's why I don't use a primer because you see how it's kind of like separating on my little eyeball, my eyelid, whatever. I do like this color though. This is my kind of color. All right, so I'm just gonna spend like another 20 minutes trying to blend this out and uh, yeah. Um, I'm gonna go in with this tiny little brush here and I'm gonna pick up some of that dark color and just swoop it all on my bottom lash line from the outer to the inner. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this little glittery color here. It's really pretty. I uh, don't always use a lot of shimmers, but why not? Why not go for it today? Okay, this one's actually really good. Hey girl, I like that. As long as it doesn't have any glitter chunks, I'm just not into glitter chunks falling on my face. I'm just not that kind of girl, so. But this is looking pretty good and I'm not seeing any glitter chunks yet. So I'm gonna say I really like this shade. And it pairs like perfectly with the colors in the palette. All right, that one's a winner. I'm gonna blend this out just a little bit. Okay, so I am done with the eyeshadow. I gotta say, I really like this little palette. I like it a lot. The formula is good and there was no fallout which I appreciate. I do think things would have blended out better if I wouldn't use the primer just because primers just don't, they don't want to work with my eye, but it turned out okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do my eyeliner now. Um, yeah, then we're going to test out that mascara. Okay, so I'm done with my eyeliner. That was not fun. It is not even, but it's as good as it's going to get for the day. Okay. I'm going to add some of this blush real quick. This is the Ciate London Marble Light Dusk shade. And yeah. So I'm going to test out that mascara now. I'm a little bit scared because I don't know. Is it even going to be good? Should I curl my lashes first? Should I put on my lash primer? Is that not going to show the true beauty of the mascara if I use my primer? I don't know. But you know what? I'm just going to be real with y'all. That's what I'm going to do. I'm using my primer. This is the L'Oreal um, Voluminous Base. It's white. It's amazing. If you haven't tried it, you should. I am a little scared about this mascara just because it's waterproof. And I feel like if I mess up, it's like going to be a big ordeal to get rid of it. But we'll see. Oh, hey, girl. One little swipe and it's already looking all right. Add a little more. This is a really big brush. I'm gonna let you know right now that brush, it's really fat and fluffy. And yeah. The only thing I'm noticing is that it's almost kind of like drying a little quicker on my lashes. So it's not letting me build on it, which I don't like because I like to put a lot of mascara and build on it like lots of layers to make them look thicker and longer and this is not really letting me do that so I'm not sure that I would use this as an everyday mascara but I guess if I needed a waterproof mascara this would be good another thing is it's very heavy like it feels like a weapon I'm not kidding it's heavy but I'm gonna go in with my other mascara because I'm not liking that it's not like letting me 
build, okay? So I'm using my new favorite, which is Maybelline Falsies Lash Lift, which Alan actually picked out for me and it turned out to be the best mascara ever. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put some primer on my bottom lashes. I'm gonna be putting this on my bottom lashes. I'm gonna do it off camera because I'm already wasting so much of y'all's time. <laughs> I'll see y'all in a minute. Okay, so I just finished doing the mascara on my bottom lashes. I said I wish I would have got a lip product in this box, but then I realized in the October box I did get a lip liner. So this color would actually go really good with this look I got going on. So I'm just gonna line my lips quick. So this was the Ace Beauté lip liner and it's called Be Peachy. I'm gonna go in with my favorite lip color from e.l.f. It's in the shade Natural. I'm just gonna fill my lips in now. Okay, so I am completely finished with this look. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like. If you have any questions or anything, you want to say feel free to leave it down in the comment section down below subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet and i also want to say that this was a pretty good box i actually loved everything i got i'm not really a fan of the mascara i could probably do without the primer um, but i am looking forward to trying out this exfoliator just not doing it now because like i said i just recently exfoliated my face don't want to do that face wash is pretty good this was like worth the whole box because I really like these eyeshadows and yeah. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and stop yapping and end this video. I have a few errands to run, so I've got to go, y'all. I'll see you next time. Bye.